Hey, welcome back. Let's talk about the major gimmick and mechanics in the second 460 Abyss Dungeon in Lost Ark. In the first boss, you'll be fighting against the Phantom Legion Queen, which you should have faced in the story already. You'll see that she have identical mechanics to the story where she will summon a bunch of mirror as well as a wave, and you must take the correct mirror to avoid the wave. However, in the Abyss version, the mirror is also colored. As you might have guessed it, mirror that are the same color are linked to each other and they will teleport to each other. So you must find the correct mirror and take the mirror to avoid the wave in the middle by teleporting over it. Pretty much identical to the story except with the color mechanics. Do know that however, purple color mirror are gonna teleport you on top of the boss always. So in that case, you want to make sure you avoid purple mirror as they do not work. Other than that, she has one major attack that you should try to avoid, which is this giant pizza attack. She will spawn two balls and then they will spin in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction, indicating the, the direction of the pizza that will go. And then you must rotate 90 degrees of each attack in the pizza shape pattern to avoid all four of her attack. Doing this will pretty much avoid you the entire attack and then you can continue as normal. That covered the major gimmick in this fight. Uh, obviously, she does a lot more attack, however, as always, the general rule is just don't stand in AOE circle or red circle equals bad. The second boss fight you will face against Abisher herself. In this boss fight, there is one major gimmick mechanics, which is the Fall Guy mechanics. As her 14 health bar, she will rotate the map around and then you will start playing this Fall Guy mini game where you must avoid the rolling boulder that is coming down. Uh, and then you wait for a red meteor that will drop, uh, indicated by a red mark on a certain player. The player with the indicator must then run into the boss dropping the meteor on her and thus ending this fall guy phase. For example, here you can see that our berserker have the red mark in which he'll run into the boss to drop the meteor, which ending this phase right here. Ooh. She'll do this a total of 2 times in the entire fight, with the other time being around either 8 to 6 HP bar. Oh, Fall Guy! Fall Guy! Ah. Finally, in the last chamber, you'll once again face down with Abisha. In this case, she will have one major stagger check and one major mechanic check. The first stagger check will begin at 34 HP bar, so it is important to save all your heavy stagger skill when you're getting close to the 34 HP bar. When you approach 34 HP bar, a cutscene will play similar to the story. In this case, Abisha will be met with a heavy stagger check, so make sure you use all your hard staggering skill on her to meet the stagger check. Uh, you can also use consumable items such as Warring Grenade, which dramatically help with the stagger check here. She will then do this again at the 26 HP bar, so again, make sure you save all your heavy stagger skill for this phase right here. Once you have passed the second stagger check, she will then start covering the field in laser, which you can see in the background right here, which you have to be very careful of. These laser will go from right to left, so you can tell when the next one will be coming. Once you hit 16 bar, however, the next major mechanic will begin. In this case, one of your party member will have a cross on them, while the other free party member will have a light shining out from them. Your free party member with the light must point their light to the party member with the cross on them and thus lighting up that party member. The easiest way to do them is simply left click on the party member with a cross on them. Your map will then zoom out and a giant meteor will then start dropping. Simply run out of the meteor and this complete the mechanics. This will happen again at 8 HP bar however with a slight difference. At the 8 HP bar, the same mechanics will once again happen however with potentially one difference. One of your party member instead of having a straight line light will now have a circle instead. And again, you must point the light toward the cross however, the cross must also stand in the circle in order to complete the mechanics. Other than that, if you ever get hit by a bubble attack, one of your teammates must attack the bubble in order to free you. And that's pretty much conclude the entire fight including its major mechanics as well as major attack. That's basically conclude the dungeon walkthrough, and as always, I do stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash 1010games, and of course, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.